Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Uh, this is going to be the second video that I'm recording in 4K, guys. I hope you enjoy this if you're watching this video on a 4K screen, TV, iMac or whatever um, and you enjoy the improved quality on that. Today I want to show you Banner Snack, which is a cool company that allows you to create banners online. So you can add, you, you can create your own banner ad and uh, I think it's cool to try this out because I haven't created a banner for myself uh, ever, basically, a real banner, a real banner ad. And I would like to show this to you. So they have this online dashboard right here and we can check out the first banner that I did on my, that I did by myself. Um, I would like to show this one to you because I think it looks right, really awesome. So um, check that out. These screens are popping up and you get an impression of the UI kit and they are fading in, showing you the call to action to download them. And I would like to rebuild this thing with you right now. You get a lot of cool other stuff and details right here, like the size, um, how the file size as well, and the date and so on. You can export them using real code, using uh, static things and also the animations as GIFs mp4 and html5 so i think that's pretty awesome so now let's create a, another new um banner ad so we have our uh, dashboard right here and we can click new and we are able to select a new banner i would like to recreate the one you just saw so maybe let's go for the large retang rectangle Okay, it's giving us a couple of uh, pre-built designs, but of course we would like to create our own one. And I would like to change the background. Um, you can of course add any background color you want. I think I will just stick with this one. I, I enjoyed it. Um, and then I will try to drag in my images. Um, I have the feeling that you can't drag in your images into the app just yet, but apparently we can add them using this button right here. So, okay, let's try it out. Can you also upload multiple image? Maybe. No. You can just upload one image at a time. I think they are still improving the app and maybe this is also some kind of feedback for them. Um, but yeah, these are our screens and I would like to position them like about that. Showing those guys uh, who are seeing our who are seeing our rectangle, our banner online, uh, what this app actually does. So. Uh, let me see what we can do here. We have our color palette right here. We can add colors to it and change the opacity. Uh, guys, um, this one is uh, translated into German and I can't change it to English. So there are a couple of uh, tra translation mistakes uh, and I would like to, to uh, change it to English, but we have to live with this for now. Um, but I will try to explain everything. So this is the opacity that we can also reduce, of course. And this also has a blur. Um, I would like to add a shadow. Maybe we can do this right here. Shadow, edit the shadow. And we can say there shouldn't be any distances right there. We can also increase the opacity and increase the blur as well. Just super easy, just like that. Okay, I will just do this for this one screen right there. I would like to add some text. So we get a couple of text options right there. I'm going for the heading text, looks pretty big. Maybe let's go for the subheading and I'm going to choose a different color because of course white will look much better. Um, the text is going to be uh, awesome 
I don't know, awesome UI kit. This is our main headline. We can change the font to all these fonts right here. And we can also center this one Oops! by dragging it over into the middle, waiting for this line to appear right there. Uh, we could simply copy and paste this one, but I will go for a body text and also change the size to white and drag it into the center of our uh, let it, let's call it artboard of, of our banner basically. We are not sketchy guys. We have to uh, call it banner. Okay So um, maybe let's decrease the font size a little bit and say save up to 20% right right now Just like that expand this box and I think we are also able to uh, center it up using buttons. I don't want to like eyeball this the whole time. So <clears throat> we have our layer right here. We can also say it should go to an URL. We can select some transitions duplicated, but where's the option to center it? I don't know, I will just uh, drag and drop it right now. Just like that. So this is our uh, current state. We can play it right here. And boom, everything is simply not really sliding in or animating, but it's, I don't know, still a bit stiff. So I will move up the text a little bit like that. And I would like to animate those items. Okay, so what should we do? I'm going to create a like transition and I would like to animate the alpha. So I don't know what this is going to do. I, I'm not sure about the translation guys. I'm simply selecting alpha for now. So, so this uh, is moving it into our screen and this is moving it out. I would like to move it into our screen. So yeah, let's try this out. Okay, apparently it did the different thing. It uh, faded out, but I tried to fade it in. So let's redo this real quick. Um, this is like, yeah, just a small feedback to you guys from Banner Snack. I would like to just use the English the English language um, as long as the, the German one isn't perfect. That's not a problem at all. Uh, I think people who will use this app right here are good in English uh, and I would recommend you guys just sticking with the original language or make this one perfect, the German translation. But it's, it's okay. So yeah, we see that those are fading in. Um, we can also add like a delay or tell them that they should, they should uh, wait a little longer. So I'm going to change the delay to one, maybe one second. Doesn't tell me if it's one second. Play the whole thing. And yeah, I think that's a cool transition for now. We can also do the same uh, with those texts right here. Changing the alpha changing, uh, animating the alpha right now, and maybe also add a little delay to this first screen. Okay, so check it out again. Boom, there we have those screens. And in the example before you saw that we also showed these different uh, single screens as well. So what we're going to do now is to add new slides. We have this one right here and we can duplicate it. So we need three of them because we would like to show all of these three screens. Um, so I'm going to get rid of uh, this, these text elements and I'm going to stick with this one. It's our first screen. 
right there. I'm also deleting the shadow because there are no elements beneath the layer and we can do the same with those text layers and now with those two other screens. Do the same thing right here. Simply slide it into the middle and we can do exactly the same with those text layers and these two images. Drag it into the middle. And right now what you will see is, or what we will see is that the first screens right there are just, I don't know, sliding in like that. But I would like to have them show, have them like fading in or sliding in from cool positions. Okay, so right now you see that the alpha is uh, like animated. You saw that in the example. If we go to uh, to uh, transitions, we can select different transitions. Uh, we could also make a transition between those different slides. So we don't need to animate those elements right here. We could also element uh, animate those slides in general. So I'm going to delete the animation of this layer right here because I would like to show you the animation, the transition of the slides, between the slides. Um, deleting this right now. And we can add a new slide transition. We can add a blur slide or scale effect. So I don't know, let's try out the slide. We can say it should bounce and it should come in from the bottom to the top. Let's try this out. Fading in, first screen. Now second screen should slide in from the bottom. Okay, that looked weird. Uh, okay, I don't know. Uh, let's redo this. Let's choose blur and test it out. Play it from the first one. Our first slide is looking kind of good so far. Text could be a bit more down. Okay, the, f the, the thing is that is like weird is because the first screen is still showing up. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's try out the alpha blur. No, the alpha. And maybe add the alpha also to those other slides, just like that. And play it from the beginning. First screen looks good. And I think I gotta say that this is maybe the best transition um, because I like that those screens and artboards just fade in nicely. Once we got that done, uh, we can hit save, but I forgot a thing. I wanted to, oops, I wanted to add a call to action, of course. Never forget to add a call to action on your on, on your banner ads. Um, we can add a clickable space right there. I would like to just have a sing like a simple by now. I will write down, um, I will write down download now, download now. And the button itself should expand a bit. Would be cool if this would be done automatically. Yeah, I have to expand it even more like that. I think that looks cool. So going back to our slides, um, I'm going to animate the button as well. Change a change a transition, slide it in from the bottom to the top and let's see how it looks.
Oops, that looked weird. Let's try it again. I think that looks super dope, sliding in this button from the bottom to the top and showing all these other screens. Okay, so hit save, give it a name, banner 2, and you can also add in a URL and so on. Save it up and it is in our dashboard. This is my second banner uh, that I created in Banner Snack. And I gotta say, be besides a few things, a few parts that need a, a couple of improvements, I'm pretty happy with it and it was super simple, super intuitive. Um, I could imagine that people who, are, who aren't who are a real designer, maybe uh, marketing people are using the app as well, I think they will have an easy time learning it and using it, creating their banners. So good job on that banner snack. Um, maybe I will do a couple of other videos about it in the future. Um, you can check it out, bannersnack.com, the link is also down in the video description. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Thanks for your time, guys, and we see us in the next one. Bye. This video was sponsored by Death Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Death Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at deathmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video, and we see us in the next one. Bye.